Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. And the bulk, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time as I broadcast across the nation on an FM platform. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm fine. You're here to talk about this new fabulous racing wise. I think this is a great idea. Give us the insider's view of what we're going to see because this is really new. Yes, so it is called Racing Wives. However, I'm not a wife. I'm actually a driver in the show. So what you'll see in the show is my relationship with Samantha Bush, who is Kyle Bush, NASCAR driver's wife. And he has his own race team, so I'm trying to race for his race team in the show. So that's my role. Uh, you'll also see what it's like to date athlete, because my boyfriend's an athlete. We have a long-distance relationship. I'm from Canada. He still lives in Canada. Um, so there's an interesting dynamic there and kind of how... I fit in because I'm not a wife, but I'm a driver, but I'm also a female. So it's a very unique position. It is. And from what I'm understanding, you are making your own ways in a world that's been dominated mostly by males. It's been broken a little bit. Dana Kilpatrick broke, broke up that boys club a little bit. And now you're on the scene. And I think you got the inside card because you're there with the wives. You know the wives have all the power. <laughs> For sure. This this whole NASCAR industry is completely different than what I'm used to. I'm used to racing dirt tracks in Canada. So it's been very interesting learning the different dynamics of this industry and this world. And thankfully, I do have the wives to kind of show me the ropes a little bit. And Samantha Bush just helps me navigate through it and the do's and the don'ts and the rights and the wrongs. Um, there's a lot of unspoken rules. So um, I'm used to being in the seat and doing my best as a driver, but there's also a lot outside of the race seat that's important in this industry as well. And that's the business side, finding sponsors and, and finding your way in the world of NASCAR. Well, you're showing us what an entrepreneur, I think, in a sense, has to do in order to make their project work. That's what I'm seeing from you. So racing wise, uh, uh, as you said, centers on the wise, but you're a girlfriend. How does it feel to be the odd girl out? We'll say it that way. To be honest, I've kind of always been the odd girl out because I've been at the racetrack since I've been in my mother's belly and I've raced all my life. So I'm used to being kind of different and I don't really know any other way. All I can do is try to be the most genuine and true authentic person that I can be. And for me, that means being in a race car and and um, caring about my fans, interacting with them and learning the business side, trying to find sponsors and just trying to be the, the whole package that a sponsor and race team's looking for in a driver. This is on CMT. Did they, did they come to you with this idea or did you say, hey, put me in there with the wives? How did that work? <laughs> Yeah, so it was the wives at first, and Samantha Bush kindly uh, introduced CMT to me and thought I would be kind of a different story, a, a different outlook into the racing world to be a part of the show. And thankfully, CMT liked me and asked me to be a part of the show as well. So what you're doing is very non-traditional, but we see women... Uh, breaking the non-traditional. I was looking at the soccer team. They're taking they're taking the soccer association to court because they want to be traditional. And when I say traditional, they want to be paid like men. They want the same rights as men. So you're in the non-traditional sport. How do you overcome all those challenges? I've definitely faced a lot of different adversities in my career from being a female, being Canadian, not coming from money, not having that financial backing to help me be successful in a very, very expensive sport. But the upside to all of this is that racing is one of the very few sports where men and women can compete against each other on the same level. And for that, I'm super grateful. Okay. So tell me, what, what are we going to see personally about you on screen and racing wise, are we going to see any personal good stuff? Absolutely. You will see my personal relationship with my boyfriend, who is also an athlete. He's a football player, and we have a long-distance relationship. So how we kind of make an athlete-athlete relationship work. Uh, you'll definitely see interactions with my mom and my dad, um, their thoughts of me pursuing this crazy dream. You'll see a lot of interaction with Samantha Bush and I and us 
trying to find sponsors so that I can race for Kyle Busch Motorsports, which is Kyle Busch is Samantha's husband, who's a big NASCAR driver and also very, very talented. So um, you'll see a lot of racing, a lot of the personal life as well. I think there's a nice mix of everything. I know your shoe, uh, show is new, racing-wise, but you had a couple of episodes. When can my audience watch? We know we can watch on CMT. When can they start watching? Absolutely. They can watch every Friday on CMT at 10, 9 Central. You are going to be a standout. I can't wait to see you on Racing Wise. We'll be following you, Amber, because you are, you are a delight. Thank you for being my guest today. Thank you, Valder. I appreciate you being, or me being on your show. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.